morning guys welcome to today that morning when you're greeted with a ginormous snake on the day that I really want to get my garden put back to normal I'm afraid to garden you guys because of that but good morning guys welcome to today's video today we are dealing with the aftermath of our tree that Sam cut down yeah so you guys know we've been struggling with our internet for days for days wow I'm so proud of him except for that branch should come down still he did such a good job like he is not a tree yeah. cutter downer guy big part that was attached to that little part because you know we chopped down all like the branches and stuff um it almost fell on him did it yeah. wow I am proud of him, so today we're going to try and get rid of this big, huge, massive thing. But as soon as he cut down the branch, our internet was perfect. Drag it down to the... Front. Perfect! Yeah, you want to drag it now? Okay, I can see. Alright. <laughs> My butt still hurts. <laughs> Alright. Jesus, why did I do that? <laughs> he chose the big one. Whoa! We're doing it! <laughs> I know Molly is dying to drag these branches. We just drop them <laughs> right here. I'm weak, she says. All right, I got mine down here too. Nobody says I'm weak and gets away with it. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, uh, Gabby's at the Come age. Oh, your dog's not paying attention. She's going to pay dog. attention. So, Gabby's at the age where she needs a lot of sleep. The hardest age for teenagers is 13, 14, and 15. And by the end of 16, they're pretty much out of all the stress of it. And as far as teenagers go, Gabby's really good. She's like not rebellious, not argumentative, really. Um, but she is quiet. Likes to do her own thing. Likes to hang out with her friends. But she's been really good. Like compared, like people say girls are worse than boys. Oh, boys are way worse. My boys were way more like me. Super dramatic. <laughs> super dramatic and super emotional. Come on, Molly. Come on, Ruby. In here. All right. Our barn be smelling like a hay field. Mmm. Doesn't it smell good? Look at her hair. Just blowing in the wind. All right, listen. Don't make me look bad. This is the first time I've videoed this since. All right, she just pushes the, whoa, she is hungry today. Wow, there's been some battles going on. You guys see it? Good ponies. It's days like this that I have to like spend five hours cleaning the horses before they can go outside. Anyway, my point is, Gabby's not here because she's still sleeping. But we have a plan in summer. We have summer plans. Like, they do afternoon stuff and I do morning stuff. But Sophie's up always, almost always up early. And I was like that too as a kid. I was almost always up early. But Sophie's just starting to get into the teenage stage. So we'll see how it goes. And just like that, three clean, fresh, hoof-picked ponies. Although, I don't know. Yeah, Gracie still has a little tiny bit of mud. It's because it, they were... Like a wet spot. Yeah, wet spot. Yeah, that's the same with Gracie. See how fast you judged me, Sophie? Well, you can see Willow's wet spot. It's right on her butt. I can see spots on her legs, too. I brushed my horses. I brushed two of them, and I brushed them right down to their legs. So, uh, welcome to today, guys. Today, I hope to ride my mare now that all the hay is all cut, and I have some place to kind of ride her, even though I know we it's have no... It's all wet in the arena since it rained all day. Yeah, it rained all day yesterday. All day. Anyway, welcome to today's video. And we would have had Wi-Fi all day. We had no Wi-Fi yesterday had... all day because when it rains it pushes the trees down like the branches down with the weight of the rain and then it blocked our you blocked our oh yeah do that so then it blocked everything from getting through so on rainy days we were not having any internet hardly at all so anyway it's all fixed him what called a guy and the guy didn't come kept saying he was gonna come and then finally said like forget it and he went out and he got some crazy special tool and he cut down that tree for us so awesome still lots of branches for Gabby to carry 
I'm going to tell you a store that you could find Schleich in. Value Village. Value Village. Why don't you set Schleich up in the trailer on the table? Because we play cards there. Oh, yeah. So, Sylvia's having a friend sleep over tonight. And they are going to be sleeping in the trailer. It's what we do. Anytime we have guests. I'll, I'll probably go live on my Instagram or TikTok. She's going to go live. That's also what I we might. do. people the time has come for Laura to have five minutes to ride her horse <laughs> I'm just waiting for the girls they said they're gonna come down in 20 minutes I must have like been really fast because they never I never get done before they get back so this is it my girl we're going for a ride I told her she said okay but just so you know I'm in heat <laughs> yeah just my luck but before I get going on my ride, I wanted to tell you guys that before I tacked Penny up and got ready to ride, get her ready to ride, I was down here this morning and I kept imagining me going off on a, on a trail with Penny, just going off on a trail with Penny. And I just kept imagining it and I kept seeing it, I kept feeling it. And then I was like, oh, I gotta get out there and go, even though I'm sweating. <laughs> and and that's amazing like those are the kind of things you have to fill your head with but if you're like me sometimes you are tacking up and you're thinking about all the things that could go wrong but I just want to tell you guys don't think about the things that could go wrong think about all the things that could go right that is why it's important you guys all the things that could go right when you think about right then right happens like that and it like it's yeah not as good yeah it doesn't talk so people like literally lose yeah. their minds when I put the reins where they need to go hey don't let her have her way and willow's the best train yeah i can stand in the grass in the tall tall grass and she won't even touch it i put bug spray on penny and she was like oh this is glorious i should put it on her face let me go get it i want to do it all with you by my side if you're in meet me here tonight be brave and come along i'll be your right promise we don't need no break lights we can travel the so just say yes, choose to do whatever comes next. Drinking red wine by an open fire Make love or fight This or that This or that Evening's on the trail Catch a morning fly Enjoying dinner until midnight On bed by night This or This or This or
most fun of life like she her new thing is bucking and it and I didn't know why before like this is my pattern yeah. I'm gonna show you guys my pattern I taught her that. you taught her to buck she bucked with me yeah so like this is this is the problem long ago when we got our very first lease horse honestly there are these people on our channel like and and they were all like you're hurting her you're hurting her and then I got all stressed out and now all I can think whenever I ride a horse is that they're in pain. So now all I ever think about is that I'm hurting her and so I was in the process of trying saddles blah 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 and I love that saddle that I ride in. I like how it fits. I like how it feels. I feel so secure and safe in it and I wasn't sure like I'm leaving. I always doubt myself that it's hurting her and so then every time she would like do these little bucky things i'd be like oh maybe it's the saddle but really it was attitude and i found that's a trend with us with me i ruin everything because i have this voice inside my head saying oh she's hurt she's hurt something's hurting her yeah that's what you're doing yeah so i was I watched this video before my ride. Somebody sent it to me and it was about using your seat bones and how you're like, it's a clock. And when you want to go forward, you move your seat bones forward and you're supposed to do it without, <laughs> without anybody being able to see. When you want to slow down, you sit back on your seat bones. When you want to go to the right, you lengthen your leg and lean it to the left when you want to go left. And it works. Like she knows that stuff. And I was like practicing it. might not be able to tell. I was actually like out there, even though it was a bad ride, I was out there with a purpose, like working on certain things. I was working on that activity and it was fun for me. And even though she was giving me attitude and I had to keep getting her in trouble and I wasn't good at all that stuff. Um, I, I don't get scared with Penny and that's why I bought her like and that's why the whole chance situation is like is it's working so far for us is because when you I feel like when you have the right horse even if the situation is not perfect and even if you don't know everything as long as you have help I feel like the right horse is about not being scared like I don't know why but Penny doesn't scare me and I'm able to push her forward and I'm able to like get her in trouble when she tries to buck and she's all she does now is she shakes her head and I'm like stop it <laughs> but anyway it was so fun and it ignites like this passion in me and then I get out there and I get riding and then I always want somebody with me because I'm not confident enough to like go out there by myself and that is a struggle that I have and then I feel the stress of all the people that are with me like I know that they don't like being out there with me and they don't like they like, have other things to do like that's why I need a friend but anyway it was fun I loved it I hope I do it again like really soon she needs to do it a lot like right now I want to do it every day it was just so much fun for me oh and also her issue the whole issue today was that her friends were back at the barn running, bucking, screaming, throwing fits. So she's a bit herd bound. And oddly, she has never really been super herd bound before. I've been able to ride her even with the horses, the ponies acting like idiots. So something to work on. All right, so it is nighttime. I'm coming to video. 
Oh, good. You guys got it. Oh. oh, all right. So it is nighttime, and uh, Elizabeth, I think you should climb back in this bed okay. and close those blot that window. It's freezing in here. Okay. Otherwise, you're gonna freeze, and it's like so cold that I think you could even. Oh you could even have the heater yeah, on. You put that thing. I remember the we don't need the heater. Heater does not do staple thing. Oh my god, I love the heater. Oh, it's like, does the heater yeah, do staple thing? Actually, in the winter, no, we are still freezing. Yeah, but. Oh, I'm that? jealous. I love it. It was a toy. It was me. I love the trailer. I love the trailer too. So, do you think this will be enough? I love the trailer. You got a sheet? I don't have any. Wait blankets. a minute. You only have two blankets. Do, I have to make my Do you have warm stuff? No, yeah. Sophie, you're sleeping over no. there. Why? Because that's the scary end. All right, so do you want to sleep together or do you want me to put the, oh, you guys want the table left up? Right yeah, I normally sleep right here. All right, we'll make this into a bed. Don't you know that you're beautiful?